Hi and welcome to the Intervino School of Wine. I'm Cyrus Shahardeh and today we're going to be looking at the temperature of wine. And by that I mean the temperature of wine when it's being served. I've decided to do this video because it's something that I see done again and again and again. Wine being served at the completely wrong temperature. And you might be thinking, Cyrus, come on, it's not that bad to be at the wrong temperature, but I'm afraid it is. It's killing the wine. I see white wines that are served way too cold, and I see red wines that are served way too warm. I see rosés served uh, too cold. And what I wanted to explain was that what happens when a wine is too cold, in uh, the example of white wine and rosé, which we put in the fridge, our fridges are at four, five, six degrees, and then we're serving these wines at those temperatures, you're basically hiding all the qualities of the wines. The wines cannot express itself, and this is a grave mistake to make if you're spending good money on great wine. You're not letting it express itself to, its, to the full. So make sure that when you have a good bottle of wine, I recommend white wine, take it out of the fridge an hour before uh, it's going to be served. If, you, if, if it's still too cold, I would recommend putting it in a carafe, opening it up. It's going to open up the aromas. It's going to bring the temperature up by one, one and a half degrees. And those one and one and a half degrees are important. It's going to really help the wine open up and express itself. Conversely, red wines. Red wines are being served at room temperature. Now, room temperature, especially in the summer, is not 18 degrees. Room temperature nowadays is somewhere closer to 23, 25 degrees. And serving a red wine at those temperatures, again, is going to show the alcohol of the wine. It's going to be aggressive. It's going to be volatile. Not the best way to show a wine that you care about. So I would recommend if you have a red wine, it's summer, put it in the fridge an hour before, an hour, half an hour before you're going to serve it. It's going to lower the temperature a little bit. And then I would also put it in a carafe, except if it's a very old wine. But if it's a young wine, youngish wine, I would definitely recommend putting it in a carafe, let it open up, express itself and, and, and level its temperature up. So that's very important. Finally, rosés. Stop killing rosés. Uh, I'm going to start a special hashtag with stop killing rosés. Stop putting rosé at four degrees Celsius. Uh, and then I hear so many people complaining, oh, why is it that when I go to France or when I'm drinking rosé by the beach, it's so lovely, and then in the winter it's not as nice, or when I get back home to New York, to Paris, to, to London, the wine isn't quite the same. That's because Rosé is being served to you chilled. When you're by the beach, it's normally summer. Summer, it's warm, you've got the sun. Your rosé is being served and the temperature is immediately brought up three, four, five, six degrees and you're enjoying rosés at 10, 11, 12 degrees. That's when the rosé is showing itself. That's when even the, 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 the velvety of the wine can come through. That's when the texture of the wine really uh, comes through and if you're serving it too cold you're killing that so especially if you're not by the beach if you're not in the sun make sure you take your rosés out a good hour before and they're going to be showing themselves much better and you can come back to that time when you were drinking rosé in the beach in your mind and understand that it's the same rosé and it's tasting just as good and that is it for today. I look forward to seeing you uh, uh, for our next video. And until then, santé.